so the next topic in your third module is a feedback amplifier okay so basically what is meant by a feedback if you have a signal for example if you have an amplifier with input signal as xi and the output signal as x0 and if the portion of the output signal is fed back to the input then it is called as feedback okay it is also called as a closed loop circuit so if i take this as a amplifier block and if xi is the input and if x0 is the output this is called as an open loop circuit there is no feedback present here if a portion of the output is fed back to the input then it is called as a feedback basically your feedback can be divided into classified into two different types one is called as your positive feedback and the other one is called as your negative feedback so what is meant by a pos positive feedback if a portion of the output is fed back to the input such that it increases the overall signal then it is called as your positive feedback so the positive feedback is mainly used in oscillators okay and your negative feedback uh, when your portion of the output is fed back to the input such that it decreases the overall output then it is called as a negative feedback so let us take the first case okay so if you have here uh, your signal input signal output signal a portion of the signal is fed back so here you will be having your input signal here it will be your output signal in phase here also if it is in phase with that of the input signal if the output signal is in phase with that of your input signal then it is called as a positive feedback whereas in the case of the negative feedback the output signal will be 180 degree phase shift with respect to that of the input signal okay so the negative fe uh, uh, feedback is used in amplifiers so you are going to mainly study about your feedback amplifier means your negative feedback okay so the main classification of your amplifiers are it can be classified into four different types one is called as your voltage amplifier the second one is called as your current amplifier and the third one is called as your trans resistance amplifier trans resistance amplifier and the fourth one is called as your trans conductance amplifier okay so basically these are the four different types of feedback amplifier one is your voltage amplifier second one is your current amplifier third one is your trans resistance amplifier and the fourth one is your trans conductance amplifier and the corresponding gains are given as av is your voltage gain where ai is your you know that voltage amplifier means the input and the output will be voltage gain you know that it is output divided by input right so here it is voltage gain av is equal to v not divided by vn current amplifier means both your input and the output will be your current so it is designated as a suffix i so i not divided by i i and trans resistance resistance means you know that r is equal to v by i right so here it is designated as r m is equal to output voltage divided by input current trans conductance means opposite to that of your trans resistance so it is given by gm conductance so it is i divided by v so so it is output current divided by input voltage so these are mainly the classification of your feedback amplifiers okay so if you want to know about this uh, feedback amplifiers you have to know the basic block diagram wherein you can classify your feedback into different types of topologies so let me give you the basic block diagram of your uh, feedback circuit so let me give you the basic block diagram of your amplifier with negative feedback the amplifier so if i take if i can take this as your basic amplifier with a forward gain capital a okay so this will be your first main block your amplifier and then you have a feedback block right so let me take this as your feedback network with reverse gain right so the gain is taken as beta so these are the two blocks amplifier block and your um, feedback block and in the input you will be having a comparator or a mixer input side you will be having a comparator or a mixer which will be connected to the signal source in the input right signal source so this will be your input side and in the output side you will be having a sampling network 
sampling network where a portion of the signal that is the output signal will be sampled and will be given to the feedback network. So let me take this as your load resistance RL output current which is equal to your load current this is your output voltage V0. So a portion of the output will be fed back through your sampling network. So in the input side you have a comparator or a mixer and in the output side you have a sampling network. So the input from the source is taken as your voltage will be taken as Vs. The input to the amplifier the current is II whereas your voltage is taken as Vi okay and the feedback current is taken as IF and the feedback voltage is taken as VF a portion of the output will be fed back whether it, either it can be voltage or current. So the output of the amplifier let me assume it as I and V okay. So these are the main blocks of your block diagram of your amplifier feedback amplifier amplifier with negative feedback okay. So here there is one important uh, point which you have to note in the input side you can have two parameters either it can be voltage or current. So in the input side if it is a voltage it is voltage then it is series connection. In the input side if it is current then it is shunt or parallel connection okay whereas it will be opposite in the output side. In the sampling network if your parameter is voltage then it will be shunt connection or parallel connection. If it is current then it will be series connection. So based on these sampling network and mixer you mixer network you can uh, classify the feedback into four different types of topologies. So the first different types uh, the four different types of topologies are so uh, I can write it as four different types okay. So first one is called as voltage series feedback second one is called as voltage shunt feedback current series feedback current series feedback and current shunt feedback okay. So these are the main feedback topologies based on your sampling network and your mixer circuit classification okay. So now this voltage series indicates that the voltage this will be your output parameter and this is your input connection. So here also same output and shunt is going to be your input connection. So your uh, current output and input here also it designates output and input. For example let me take the first case voltage series feedback okay. So this voltage series you know that output is voltage if input is series connection. So if input is series connection it is going to be your voltage okay the parameter is voltage. So input and output is voltage. So what will be the type of amplifier? So this can also be called as the output is it can also be called as voltage amplifier okay. So your voltage series feedback can be called by another name either it can be called as a voltage amplifier or depending on the input and output connection it can be also called as the input is voltage right. So if input is voltage and output is also voltage it can also be called by another name voltage means what is a connection series and output is voltage means what is a connection shunt. So it is also called by another name series shunt okay. So you have three different names one is voltage amplifier voltage series feedback network is also called as voltage amplifier or series shunt connection okay. Similarly you can go for the other cases. So voltage shunt means voltage will designate your output parameter and the input is designating that is shunt or parallel connection is in the input side. So if input is having parallel connection so what is going to be your parameter current. So if I write it in the reverse order it will be current and voltage 
input and output in terms of the reverse right so if input is current and output is voltage what will be your gain gain is equal to so in this case it is voltage a b so voltage shunt means output voltage divided by input current so it is denoted by your trans resistance amplifier v out divided by i i so it is also called by another name so what will be the other name it is called as trans resistance amplifier trans resistance amplifier comes into this category trans resistance amplifier depending on the connection in current and voltage so what will be your connection it is also called by another name shunt right input is current so shunt output is voltage it is shunt so it is also called as shunt shunt or parallel parallel connection okay so these are the different names of your voltage shunt feedback now what will be a current series apply the same formula so your input is your series connection series means it is voltage right so voltage output is again current input and output so what will be your connection so input is voltage means it is series so series output is current means what will be your again it is series 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 the connection series series feedback so this is your other name for your current series feedback so your input is voltage and output is current so what will be your gain output divided by input right so current divided by output current divided by input voltage which is opposite to that of your resistance so it is so it is also called by another name trans conductance amplifier okay trans conductance amplifier opposite to that of your trans resistance amplifier okay now let us go for your last step that is your current shunt feedback so what is meant by current shunt your output and input right if i write it in the reverse term if the input is shunt what is your parameter current so it can be written as current output is again current input and output is current so what will be your connection uh, other name the other name is called as input is current right so it is a shunt series connection so it is called by another name shunt series connection okay so uh, output and input is current means it is called by another name again you have one more name it is called as current amplifier so this is these are the uh, categorization or, or the different namings of your amplifiers okay so basically you can uh, give this by means of a small tab tabular form okay so mixing circuit in the input side and depending on your sampling network whether it is your output is voltage or uh, current you can classify this into four different types right so what will be your mixing uh, circuit what are the different uh, connection one is your shunt and the other one is series so it will be what will be your first type this is voltage shunt first parameter voltage shunt here it is going to be current shunt current shunt second type it is going to be voltage series and here it is going to be current series so four different types okay current series so these are the introductory part which you have to remember you have to put your block diagram so from this block diagram you can uh, give the four uh, categories one is called as voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt always remember voltage series means it is your gain is av voltage shunt your gain is rm your current series your gain is gm and your current shunt your gain is ai so if you know these parameters you can it is easy for you to remember av means voltage gain output voltage divided by input voltage rm means trans resistance resistance is equal to voltage divided by current so output voltage divided by input current trans conductance means opposite to that of your resistance i by v so i not divided by vi ai stands for current amplifier it is output and output uh, input is both are current so i not divided by ii I. so i can give it here av is equal to v not divided by vi rm is equal to v not divided by ii gm is equal to i not divided by vi ai is equal to i not divided by ii so voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt so now we'll go on to your
explanation or your diagram for four different categories. So first we are reconfiguring your circuit diagram main block diagram into the first type that is called as voltage series. So let me write it again once again it is voltage series means it is a voltage amplifier which will give you V0 divided by VI. Voltage shunt means it is RM which is equal to V0 divided by II. Current series means it is GM which is equal to I0 divided by VI and current shunt means it is AI which is equal to I0 divided by II. Okay, so first let us go on to your block diagram. So voltage series, output is also voltage, input is also voltage. So what will be your uh, uh, connection? If your input is voltage, it is going to be your series connection, right? If the, so let me write it uh, here, input is series because it is voltage output is uh, again voltage right so it is opposite so it is shunt connection okay so it is series shunt so let me uh, let me give your amplifier a then you have your beta network okay now you have your input and output you have to give the connection so your input is equal to what is your connection it is series connection so your series connection is given like this okay and what will be your source the input is also voltage output is also voltage so here it will it is going to be your input voltage that is vs input voltage vs this is how you have to give your series connection okay now this is going to be your input voltage to your amplifier v, v amplifier that is vi now you have the output as shunt connection so this is how you will be giving your shunt connection means it is both the connections are same both the output and the feedback comes from the same uh, same point okay clear now you have let me give here this is your v0 plus or minus v0 so let me write it here itself what will be your amplifier gain a v0 divided by vi v0 divided by vi now a portion of the output is fed back here it is your same v0 a portion of v0 will come here what is your uh, output of your feedback it is your vf right vf so what will be your beta beta is equal to output divided by input in this case the output is here it is going in this direction so your vf will be your output input is going to be your v0 so the value for beta is equal to vf divided by v0 okay so in one block diagram itself if you uh, can finish it off uh, writing it then it is easy for you to uh, continue it okay so this is your first type now let us go for your second type voltage shunt so it is rm v0 divided by ii <coughs> so what is your input input is current if input is current it is a shunt connection and your output is voltage so it is again shunt connection so you can tell that it is a shunt shunt connection okay so your input is current so now let me take your amplifier a here in this case it is replaced by rm rm is equal to v0 divided by ii okay and here beta now what is your input input is your current that's why you have your current source instead of voltage source here it is current source so you have a current source here since it is parallel connection you have from the same point okay here also in the output also you have parallel connection so it is both the feedback and the output is taken from the same point so what will be your output output is voltage plus minus so this is your load resistance rl so here it is same a portion of the output is coming here as input to your feedback network but here it is going to be your current output uh, of your feedback is your current right so if is equal to what will be the value for beta beta will be equal to output divided by input so here it is if divided by v0 okay so what will be your if from this beta into v0 so this is your voltage shunt connection now what will be your third one third one is called as your current series connection so what about your current series connection it is trans conductance amplifier okay so if i take this as a instead of a i am replacing it by gm gm is equal to i0 divided by vi and here it is beta network so what is your input input is your voltage so what will be your connection it is series output is your current 
so what will be your um, connection it is going to be a current again it is going to be your series connection so it is called a series series connection so since your input is uh, voltage what will be your source here it will be your voltage source so plus or minus bs source voltage so it is series connection output and your output and feedback comes from two different uh, uh, connection right so your in the case of the output also it is series connection the output and the feedback from two different connections so rl your output is going to be your current right so portion of uh, uh, output is fed back as the input so what will be your beta beta here you will be getting it as vf so what will be your uh, beta output divided by input vf divided by your i naught okay and now what is going to be a last type that is called as your current shunt so moving on to your last type so it is a equal to a i it is your amplifier beta now what is your input input is your current so it is going to be your shunt connection your output is again current so what is going to be your um, connection in the case of output so it is going to be your shunt series connection right shunt series connection so your input is current so what will be your source input is going to be your current source is okay it is parallel connection so here you have parallel connection right so uh, you will be having your separate connection and your output is going to be your series connection okay so your rl so your output is also current so you will be having i naught is equal to il what will be your feedback so ai will be equal to output current divided by input current what will be your beta beta will be equal to output so in this case also it is uh, current right so it is feedback is uh, 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 current if so what will be your beta if divided by i naught okay so these are the different block diagram of your four different types of amplifier so now moving on to your um, four different types of amplifier so if your input is um, voltage then your uh, circuit input side will be converted into thevenin's equivalent circuit whereas if your if it is current it will be converted into uh, into your norton's equivalent circuit so this is your basic block diagram okay so this is your step one different diagrams let me give you now step two if i have to draw your voltage amplifier diagram in uh, with respect to that of your thevenin's and norton's equivalent circuit then how can you convert it okay so let me draw it once again if it is a voltage source it will be replaced by voltage source will be replaced by thevenin's equivalent circuit so you know that thevenin's equivalent circuit is a voltage source in series with resistor okay and if it is a if the parameter is current then it will be replaced by norton's equivalent circuit so this is called as thevenin's equivalent circuit and if it is the parameter is current then you will have a current source in parallel with the resistance so this is called as norton's equivalent circuit norton's equivalent circuit so if i apply these to your four different types of amplifiers so for voltage series or it is voltage amplifier so in the case of voltage amplifier input and the output is both is voltage right so the input side will be converted into your uh, thevenin's equivalent circuit right so how will you uh, draw your circuit thevenin's equivalent circuit you will be having a voltage source in series with that of your resistor and this is going to be r r i is your input resistance of your amplifier output is also voltage right so your output will be converted into your voltage source again it is thevenin's equivalent circuit so r not and what will be your voltage source the output voltage v not will be equal to you know that av is equal to v not into vi so what will be your v not voltage source v not will be equal to av into vi okay so this is your 
output side your load resistance okay so this will be your voltage amplifier now when you go for your second case voltage shunt or your trans resistance amplifier so in the case of trans resistance amplifier right your rm is equal to v naught divided by ii so your output is voltage input is current so your input is current that's why it will be converted into a not in sequence circuit current source with parallel with that of your resistors internal resistor input resistor of your amplifier now your output is your voltage so your output will be converted into again your voltage source okay or thevenin sequence circuit so r not so what will be your voltage rm into ii so voltage source will be equal to rm into ii be having rl okay so this is going to be your v not now for the third case current series that is your trans conductance amplifier so how can you draw the trans conductance amplifier your input is voltage output is current so your trans conductance amplifier input is voltage so it will be converted into a voltage source and your resistance in series thevenin sequence circuit so ri so let me give the amplifier part now your output is your current so output will be um, replaced by your current source that is your what will be your current source i not is equal to gm into vi gm into vi not in sequence circuit right parallel r not rl so this is going to be your trans conductance amplifier gm into vi now the last one is your current amplifier or your current shunt so in the case of current amplifier how will your circuit both is current right so both is its um, current source so input will be your current source norton sequence circuit rs parallel with that of your resistor ri and the output is also your output is also your current source right so it what will be your current source i not is equal to ai into ii ai into ii here also you have not in sequence circuit r not and you have a load resistance rl okay so these are your second representation by means of your thevenin sequence circuit and not in sequence circuit so for clarity let me write here input is thevenin output is also thevenin here your input is norton okay your output is thevenin here your input is thevenin your output is norton here both it is input and output is norton equivalent circuit so this is your step 2 now uh, step 3 let me take some of the examples of the four types of your um, four types of your feedback so first one is your voltage series feedback so for the case of voltage series or series shunt feedback let me take a circuit okay an example uh, circuit so if i take an npn transistor with your resistor re and the output is taken across the emitter so you know that emitter base collector right and if output is taken across the emitter so this is your input signal i c and current i e see here in this case you have both the feedback and your output is taken from the same point right see here your output is also output is also from the same point the feedback is here r e is serving as a feedback so r e is also uh, from the same point means if it is both are in the same then it is shunt connection right so by seeing the circuit itself you can tell what type of uh, feedback it is so here it is output is shunt whereas you see the input side your feedback is connected in series with that of your input signal so it is called as voltage series feedback okay or it is series input is series series shunt feedback or it is called as voltage series feedback okay 
So let us take for the second type. Second type is voltage shunt feedback or it is called as shunt shunt type. So if I take a circuit, so here you have both are same point, right? Here the output and the feedback is also from the same, same point input and the feedback is also same point. So if I can draw a circuit where I am taking your, so your output is taken from the collector, okay? So this is going to be your output and now if I can connect a feedback, feedback also from the same point. So in this case, a portion of the output is fed back to the input. So RF is your feedback resistor. So this is going to be your VCC. This is your RL and input you have your input signal, source voltage plus your internal resistance. So if I see this here in the output side, you see the output is also from the same point. The feedback is also from the same point. Then it is shunt connection. Okay. So output is shunt connection. So in the input you see input is also from the same point coming to the same point. The feedback is also from the same point. Here also it is shunt connection. So by seeing the circuit itself you will be able to make out which type of feedback it is. So this comes under the cat. This circuit comes under the category of your voltage shunt feedback. The next one if we can take it is uh, current series feedback or series series feedback. So in this case, both are coming from the different point, right? So the feedback is from the different and the output is different and the feedback is different. Input is different, the feedback is different. So if I can take the circuit, it should be both should be from the different points. So here RE is serving as a feedback. Okay. Now the output is taken from the collector. If the output is taken from the collector. Okay. And here you have the input signal plus minus vs both is the difference so in the output you see the output is taken from a different point the feedback is coming from a different point so here it is series connection okay now see in the case of your input side input is going to a different point feedback is going to a different point so here also it is series connection. So I can tell that this type of circuit comes under the category of series series or it is current series feedback. Okay. The last one is your current shunt feed. So in the case of the last type that is current shunt feedback here you have input as your shunt and your output as your uh, series connection. Right. So if I can draw the circuit opposite to that of your voltage series. So here you have input input should be shunt connection it should be both should be from the same point okay so here if i take rc vcc so i am giving a feedback here rf so he, here in the input side you can see that input is also coming to the same point feedback is also to the same point so your here in, your input will be here your input will be shunt connection same connection right and in the case of the output, if I can take the output from the emitter, then V0. If V0 is taken from the emitter, the output is a different point, the feedback is different point. Then it is shunt connection. So in this case, the output is from the different point and your feedback is from the different point. So if it is from the different point, then it is your series connection. So your output will be series connection. Input is shunt, output is series connection. Connection. So it comes under the category of shunt series connection. So by giving, by seeing the circuit itself, you can make out which type of your feedback is used here. So these are the important points which you have to remember in the case of your feedback topologies and feedback amplifier.